Hello everyone, welcome to Mini Orange. In this video, we are going to set up SAML single sign on for ASP.NET web applications using Salesforce as IDP. Let's get started. Follow the instructions in the link displayed on the screen to install the Mini Orange ASP.NET Samuel module, or you can access the link in the video description for more information. Once the plugin is installed, open your browser and browse the connector dashboard with the URL showing on the screen. If the registration page or login page pops up, you have successfully added the Mini Orange SAML SSO connector to your application. Register or log in with your account by clicking the Register or Login button to configure the module. After login, click on Plugin Settings tab, and you will see the Identity Provider list here. This module is compatible with all the IDPs showing on the screen, and all other SAML compliant IDPs. If your IDP name is not on the default list, you can configure your IDP using the Custom IDP option. Select the Salesforce from the list, and click on it. For ASP.NET SAML configuration, you will need IDP metadata, which can be found from your Application Admin Dashboard. Here, we will be using Salesforce as IDP. Let's configure the Salesforce as IDP. Log in to your Salesforce Admin account. Scroll down and click on Identity tab. After that click on Identity Provider option. Under Service Providers section, click on Service Providers are now created via Connected Apps. Click here link. Now, enter the Connected App name, API name and contact email. Under Web App Settings, check the Enable SAML checkbox. Here, you need to fill up the SP Entity ID, and the ACS URL, which you will get from the SP Metadata. For SP Metadata go to the ASP.NET SAML module. At the right side of the screen, you will find the Service Provider Metadata. You can have three options to provide the metadata to your IDP. Copy the required URLs, and paste them into the corresponding field in Salesforce. Select subject type as username, and the name might format as persistent. Scroll down and click on Save button. Go to Apps section, Connected Apps and then Manage Connected Apps. Search for the app you just created, and click on it. Scroll down and go to Profiles section. Click on Manage Profiles option. Select the profiles, you want to give access to login through this app. Click on Save button. Scroll down and go to SAML Login Information section. Here you can find the Identity Provider metadata. Click on Download Metadata button, to download the IDP metadata. Now, go to the ASP.NET SAML module. Click on Upload IDP Metadata button. Click on Choose File option. Select the IDP metadata which we have downloaded from Salesforce. Click on Upload button. You can see the URLs are auto-filled. Now, scroll down and click on Save button. After that click on Test Configuration button to test the configuration. Log in with your Salesforce credentials. On Successful Configuration, you will get the user attributes. Now, you can click on Click Here link or you can also click on Continue SSO Integration button to further continue with the SSO integration. It will redirect you to the integration code section. Just copy paste the code snippet, wherever you want to access the user attributes. I have pasted the code snippet here. Now, we will perform the SSO. For that, add the URL which is showing on the screen, as a link in your application from where you want to perform SSO. As an example, I have used the SSO link as a button in my code. Let's see how it works. Go to your application URL, and you will be able to see the SSO link button, which we have added for SSO. Click on the SSO button. Log in with your Salesforce credentials. You have successfully logged into your ASP.NET web application. Thank you for watching this video. For any other questions please drop us a query at info at